One of our buddies is out there right now, Mark Strell. Let's go back out live to him. Mark, tell us what you are experiencing. You know, I've got to tell you, not only is it getting darker right now, uh, as you might expect as we approach totality, but this is really just a true sensory experience. Now, the last time when my photographer, uh, Jeff, and I uh, were together again back in 2017, we were out in Shawnee National Forest. There were about 100 people around, and you could just hear the hush of the crowd. A little bit different experience. We're now at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. You can kind of hear, you know, maybe a little 2001 Space Odyssey music. You can. It's a little bit different tone, but you can still, uh, you know, feel a palpable difference because the crowd is just, you know, just in anticipation as we're just really just a minute, a couple minutes away. Um, I did hear someone shout out just a minute ago that we've lost four degrees already, and you can feel it. We are in pit row right now. Normally, it's been very warm here with the uh, sun shining on the asphalt, and I can just feel a cool breeze coming in right now as well. So, again, a total sensory experience. It's not just... Losing the sun, which is pretty incredible in and of itself, but it's the temperature change. As Mike Kaplan was describing earlier, it's how the, the, uh, the temperature of the colors change. The color spectrum changes a little bit. You know, I'm looking up through some of these high clouds right now, and, you know, they, the cirrus clouds, those ice crystals in the upper part of the atmosphere, kind of changing a little bit as well as they kind of prism out some of that light and kind of diffract uh, the light as well. So we're down four degrees here. Uh, in 2017, there were reports of the uh, temperatures dropping between five and as much as 10 degrees. Now that was a much warmer August day, but I'm glad that the temperatures today are well into the 70s because we can still feel that temperature drop. And the temperatures aren't the only thing. And as Mike talked about the, the uh, character of the the colors are changing as well. But we'll also quite often see um, the winds change as well. And so this is really a true weather phenomenon as this sun shadow marches across the earth, just fundamentally changing the environment. And you can feel that right now as we are just on the cusp of totality here in Indianapolis. You can hear the crowd. It's really a surreal experience. This is so, so cool. Yeah. Mark, I know you are taking this all in. So is it is it as if dust is falling? Is that what you're experiencing? You know, it's kind of like dusk on steroids. It's just everything is getting dark. And in just a few seconds here, as we totally go to darkness, it's going to be like the light shade, mm. the lampshade is just pulled down. And we go to darkness, not like a sunset, but darkness 360 degrees. You know, I'm watching somebody take off uh, from Indianapolis International Airport. And I can imagine oh, wow. what their experience is in that airplane right now. I love Just being it. able to see that shadow moving towards Indianapolis now at over 1,100 miles per hour. Here we are. Here we are. Wow. <laughs> you know, I've experienced this before in 2017, and it was worth the price of admission today as well. This is absolutely spectacular. This is really just so incredible to see how quickly the darkness is setting in as well. You can just hear that crowd going crazy. I love this. What does it feel like? It's it's just exhilarating. Wow. I mean, to be able to experience and, and understand. I mean, I you know, I could understand how, you know, native peoples in past centuries would be totally freaked by something like this, you know, something totally unexpected. But to uh, to actually have the science and know the science and, and know the miracle and the mystery behind this makes it all the more incredible. I'm this loving. is absolutely a beautiful, 
beautiful experience. I'm loving listening to the crowd cheering. It just gives me chills. You're making me feel like I'm actually there with you, Mark, And as it's getting darker and darker. Remind everybody how long the totality will last where you are. Well, we're a little bit over four minutes, and I'm going to have Jeff pan down the speedway here, and you can see, I think, in the camera's lens, how it's perfectly dark over us. And as you look off to the north and off to the northeast, it's still daylight over there. It's still normal. But here in this little, almost eye of the hurricane, it's absolutely surreal. Just so stunning. Yeah, the I crowd. Oh, go ahead, Mark. I was just going to say the crowd is just amazed, just amazed at this. They are as enthusiastic. You know, this has been a polite crowd. It's been an enthusiastic crowd. I mean, these are the kind of crowds you love to see when you go to an event. Uh, everyone's kind. They're polite. Uh, this is the way... America should be. I agree. That's what I that's what I said of earlier when I was talking to the Adler Planetarium is that's what really makes this special. As we watch your area get even darker by the moment as we speak, just everybody coming together as one. We have one interest and it is good and we're excited for each other and excited to be there and thank you Mark for bringing us this vantage point. I I uh, it's incredible just to watch from television. I can't imagine how you're feeling.